Dames en heren, de jaren 80 zouden nooit zo funky geweest zijn zonder deze groep. Level 42 en Lessons in Love. Have a seat. Thank you. Mark King. Ben. Sorry, Ben. Mark. Yeah. Welcome. Thank Let's you so much. Let me introduce you to Vic and Hilda. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice oh, to meet you. One of our, one of our best. One of the best actors we we have. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had the pleasure of sharing makeup with you early on, but uh, yeah. Nice. Mm. Now, level forty-two had a great number of hits, like really early in your career. That must have felt like winning the lottery. It, well, it was just that the career was a long time ago, so it's, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of hard to remember back that far. Yeah. But we did have some hits, yeah, you're absolutely right. And um, that's why we just love coming over here to Belgium, mm. uh, because uh, it was such a great country for us way back in the early days. Yeah. You're going to perform the next couple of days in Brussels and in Ostend? Sure, yeah. yeah. We're, we're at, uh, uh, tomorrow night we're in Ostend at mm. uh, Le Cursal. And we're at the uh, Viage Theatre. Viage Theatre yeah, in, in, Brussels in Brussels on Saturday night. Yeah. No, no, Thank you. What shall we be? It's like a um, level 42 jukebox of the biggest hits? Oh, yeah, well, the, the, all the hits are in there, which because we love playing them anyway. Mm. Um, and, but we have got such an, an, a huge catalogue of songs to choose from. So I hope that because we've got some really good fans that, that show up from uh, all the years, and uh -huh. you want to make them happy as well, right. you know. So, so you try and do a good cross section. Yeah. Now, misschien zijn er nog een paar jonkies die Level 42 niet kennen. Na deze clip is die onrechtvaardigheid rechtgezet. <laughs> Je 
you haven't aged a bit, Mark. No, not a thing. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, not that. It's uh, yeah. nature's. It's gravity, really. Gravity is the bad thing. Yeah, everything that's... sort of goes south. Doesn't everything, it? everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes down. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> now the band has been around since 1980. Yeah, yeah, yeah and 1980. And has really in a really, a really loyal loyal fan base we do uh, mm. we do and I'm uh, eternally grateful because what keeps a band like level 42 going um, apart from the all the the sort of uh, what do you call it the the good feeling radio stations you know like mm -hmm. melody and right. heart FM and these things that's great for us but it's really the fans that come along and see you play live and they do and, and every time we we show up the guys come out and see us again and it's yeah. and it's lovely and they do that all we've just been to japan um just been to indonesia and singapore and they just sort of come it's yeah. uh, it's great a, a couple of years ago a belgian fan made a level the a level 42 portrait oh yeah out of lego how about that oh, mm. oh. <laughs> yeah the, that's now uh, if you see this portrait the three other guys they must be huge <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. Well, I think he just ran out of Lego when he got to me. <laughs> the giants. Yeah. Now, Mark, in level 42, you, you sing and you play bass, mm. but according to a fan site, you've been a milkman, a car patrol, a farm laborer, and a petrol pump attend attendant. Yes. Did, did I forget anything? No. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, th these were all sort of really short jobs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was one thing I always knew what I was that I wanted to do, and that was to mm. be a musician. I mean, you know, to be a performer yeah. is mm. just the best thing, isn't it? You know, and yeah. and it's great if you can make a living, you know, making other people happy. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's just such a blessing. Being a milkman's not quite the same, you know. And, <laughs> no, it's and I, I hope because I was I was at 18, so I was kind of at my peak. Right. Physically, you know, and everything was busting, and yeah. all that stories about what happens to milkman yeah. just isn't That's, true. Isn't true? <laughs> no, not at all. No. No. I, I never saw one sure? bit of action. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sting also started out as a milkman. Did he? Yeah. Maybe it's a bass thing. Yeah, it's maybe it's that. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. And um, but it was good because working on the milk round, I bought the old my, my boss's van that we you know we used to deliver the milk in. Right. And that's what got me up to London because uh, I could put on my gear and I drove to London. Yeah. Now Mark, Mark, if you ask any music lover about Level 42, you get of course the big hits, but you get also Mark King's bass playing. Ah oh, well. You know, which is... Yeah. Uh, I can only do it because the other guys are so such good musicians and kind of give me the space to do it. So yeah. but, but did you immediately reala realize you had something special there? Well, it, it didn't no, it didn't seem like that to me. I mean, it still doesn't, to be quite honest. It's something that, that was quite easy to do. I wanted to be a drummer. The drums mm -hmm. were what I wanted to play. And the way that I play bass, as, as you've sort of just seen, is a very rhythmic, percussive way of playing, you know? Mm. I mean, the dude in your band... Uh, have a, have a, another example, because the, the style is called slapping. Mm. Another example. Start drumming, you know? yeah. yeah. Pascal, Whoa. you're the bass player of Broken Glass here. So what do you think of it? It's quite impressive. I, I couldn't do it to save my life, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember uh, uh, Mr. Marquin was, in fact, might have been sort of the reason why I started playing bass in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're older than me. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a compliment yet. Uh, no, just uh, everybody. When I started pl uh, playing in the early '90s, started doing uh, vocals and guitar, and we were looking for a bass player. And so we we started out a simple song, and everybody who came in started yeah, slapping yeah, and everything. Yeah. And in the end, I just started playing myself because I wanted some easy lines. But everyone was so influenced that I couldn't find a bass player who wouldn't slap, so I just started doing it myself. Oh, you, you chose the, so, the other direction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, Pascal, when I, one of the jobs I did have, one of the many jobs, was working in a music store, which is where I started playing bass. And it, it was always the same thing that Saturdays, all these kids would come in and play, because you're talking 1979. Mm -hmm. They play uh, Stairway to Heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or smoke on water on mm -hmm. guitar, and they play the same riffs yeah. all the time, and it drove you mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then when, um, by 1985, I had to sort of go back and visit the, the music store and sort of went in and said hello, and they went, oh, man, you wouldn't believe it. Saturday mornings, now it's a nightmare, because all the kids come in <laughs> and they start slapping that horrible <laughs> bass that you do. So you think, kind of, it serves me right. But thanks for saying that, man. It's yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Look, I, I heard 
How did, you, you took special insurance for your thumbs. Well, I didn't. The record company did, you know, back in the day. Um, Polydor Records, they did then short it for three million pounds, which it doesn't sound very much nowadays, does it? With, well, with the economic problems it, it, we've it, got, it, it, you know, it, it, no. with two trillion euros it, 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 sort of being flung around it, everywhere. But um, well, in those days, you could still buy like a small African country for that amount. Yes, of money. you could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You could or get yourself chateau. out of trouble or a yeah. chateau somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Mm. but I didn't get it. I mean, obviously, it was just the. It's what would have happened if something had happened to my thumb. Mm. Needless to say, it's not insured anymore. <laughs> right. It really is not. They don't <laughs> care. Level 42 speelt morgen in Oostende, overmorgen in Brussel. Thank you very much. Mark King! Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.